Coach, uh, how, how different is this week with no weekend game in front of here, you here coming up? Uh, a little bit different, although we, uh, you know, after coming off the Tuesday, we feel like we need some time to get ready for the big red they're having a heck of a year so far. What kind of advantage can it give you this week that you didn't have last week and that Cornell's playing Saturday and you guys have the extra rest? Well, if, if last week means anything, I'm not sure because <laughs> uh, uh, Hobart was in the same situation we're in this week. But uh, it, it always helps us, we feel, if we know the other team a little better. And uh, we'll be taking Sunday off, which uh, our week runs Sunday through Saturday. And with, with Carolina coming up at the end of next week, we would normally have to take Wednesday off. So we're going to take Sunday off, having a little bit more time to prepare for Cornell. Have you gotten an early look at Jeff Teed at all and what you'll have to deal with with one of the best uh, attackers in the country? He is really good. You know, there's no weakness in his game, and he's got eyes in the back of his head. And I think what I see is, uh, you know, when he has the ball in his stick, the players work really hard to get open for him. I think he's got, you know, 28 assists or something like that. And uh, whenever you're playing with a player like that, you know that if you get open, you're going to get the ball in your stick, and he's going to give you that opportunity. So the guys work hard off the ball when he's got it. How do you, how do you kind of stop Teeth with, like, what is, like, your, like, like how, how would you stop a player like him who's so great on offense? Yeah, well, I think you, we're talking about that right now. Uh, sometimes you want to limit his opportunities, uh, so sometimes you'll deny him the ball. Uh, other times, if he does get the ball, you really want to get your, your stick on his hands because you want to take a little something off the feed. Uh, if he's running away from you because he's, you know, you're chopping at his hands, uh, sometimes they'll throw the timing off of the, you know, the other player's cuts and it might give you that split second that you need to stop a certain play. What has your team been doing uh, much better the last three games to allow to? I think we're, you know, we're playing with more uh, composure. We're playing a little bit more comfort on the field. I think, uh, you know, when you've got, uh, you know, for example, the first midfield, two freshmen and a sophomore, uh, they're not playing like they did at the beginning of the year. They're, they're, they're making better decisions, running the offense better. Uh, we're getting better at getting back from uh, offense to defense, so we're trying to limit the other team's transition goals. Uh, I, I just think we're starting to mature a little bit there. In terms of pure one-on-one -on -one defenders, what does McMillan rank in your tenure as a player as a head coach here? He, uh, in terms of one-on-one, -on -one, he's really good. He's got uh, he's got great footwork. You don't always see a defenseman that have quick feet like Nick has. So he's able to get on you know a, a quick player. You know we've seen it in the last three attackmen that he's covered. Uh, they're all very quick players, and he's done a good job of, of shutting them down. Uh, so I think it starts with his, his footwork. And then uh, going against the kind of players that he's gone against in his two years here at Syracuse, uh, he's, he's just gotten better and more comfortable playing defense. Cornell also kind of got off to a slow start. What, what are they doing so much better now that they're scoring 20 goals a game? Yeah, they're, they're, really, they're scoring. And, uh, but even, even in their losses, you know, you got a two-goal loss to Albany. And Albany, I think, won almost all the face-offs in that game. So for them to be that close with Albany when Albany had so many possessions, that says a lot. Uh, we scrimmaged Yale early in the year. We know how good they are. They're you know, one of the top teams in the country. That was a two-goal loss. Uh, so they're, they're playing well. And when they get the ball, they, especially with Teat, I think their, uh, their percentages are pretty good. I was talking to one of your players about the rivalry. And he said the coaches don't come out and say it, but you can tell that for games like this, uh, it kind of place a little bit more uh, on it. Uh, what about that? Yeah, well, you know, uh, I played here at Syracuse and then watched uh, in the 70s, Cornell won national championships. Uh, so I watched those great teams. You know, Jay Gallagher and Eamon McEnany came from Cornell and were assistant coaches here at Syracuse. Uh, so I've always watched them from afar and had a lot of respect for, for their program with Richie Moran and, and, and so on. Uh, so we've had a lot of great games over the years and uh, you know you can, uh, campuses can almost see each other so it's uh, uh, Central New Yorkers on their team, on our team, uh, so it brings a little bit more to the game. Is there something about this man down unit this year or the past couple of games that's really separated itself, maybe other groups you've, you've worked with and you know really keying king success right now? Um, you know, well, I think the coaches are doing a great job getting the message across to the players, you know Leland Rogers and Steve Scaramazzino. Uh, they watch a lot of film. They look at the other team's players that are on their man-up situations and, and the plays that they run. So I think they've done a really good job preparing them. And I, th I think that we can play a little tighter. I mean, what you want to do uh, when a team has a good offense, you want to take away the layups. You want to take all the little stuff inside. So I think we can play a little tighter, especially the way that Don Madonna's been playing. He's been making a lot of good saves for us inside and outside. So I think the philosophy there is, hey, let him take those lower percentage shots from the outside, knowing that Dom's going to be there with a save. Sure. And he's shown that. So I think that helps the confidence of our man down defense.